Okay, so this team right here, it actually has a pretty nice combo that takes four turns to set up. <laughs> what you do is you start off with the Gusting Grimoire and use Curse of Doom, Fell Emulation, Agony, and then you switch into the Lofty Librum and just use Amplify Magic, which will increase your damage done by 50% for two turns. So the Amplify Magic out, it'll increase the dot damage from the Gust Grimoire on your opponent's pets. Even if they switched out and you put three dots on three different pets, it'll still increase the damage of all of them, because it will then use the attack power bonus from Lofty Librum for the dots, even though Gustling Grimoire is in the back row now. So, with 50% more damage on Curse of Doom, it'll do like 900 damage, 50% more damage on Agony when it's about to tick for its last turn. It does about 400 damage, and then it, Fel Malation just does about 100 damage. It's not really all necessary in Fel Malation. You don't even need to do that. You can just use Curse of Doom and Agony, then switch into Lofty Library and use Amplify Magic. Because the 50% extra damage is really nice. And then Shadow Shock is like one of the hardest hitting undead moves. Basic attacks anyway. It has a a uh, chance to hit really hard on the high end, but it also has a chance to hit really low on the low end. But it still just hits really hard, and you'll be doing a lot of damage to the Amplified Magic. And then once Curse of Doom's gone, you can just use your own Curse of Doom. But you have to make sure Amplified Magic is up when Curse of Doom is about to explode, not when you apply it. If you have Curse Amplified Magic up when you apply Curse of Doom, it doesn't matter. It only goes based off of uh, what your current buffs are when it explodes. So that's why you want to switch into Lofty Larva and use Amplify Magic when Curse of Doom is about to explode on your opponent's pets. That's basically the combo. Then I just have a Hydrilling in here as cleanup because these are two two magic type pets, not very good racials, and they're really reliant on a gimmicky combo that does a lot of damage. So you need a really good pet that's able to clean up for him really nicely. And he also uh, combos with him a little bit nicely with Call Lightning. If you get Call Lightning out, Agony and Felmolation will do a lot of extra damage since it increases, it just does 30 bonus damage every time they attack. And Hydrolinge is really good against the meta with Shell Armor and just spamming Tail Slap. Maybe even Deep Bite. I'm trying out Tail Slap right now, but I kind of miss Deep Bite considering how long Hydrolinge stays out when he actually goes out. But Tail Slap supports switching out Hydrolinge and this team does switch a lot, so I thought I'd just go for that. Alright, if he starts off with a Fen Crab, I am in a really bad spot because, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> oh, that's such a bad matchup. Let's hope he doesn't. If he does, I can just throw out a, a little fell emulate. Okay, he started off with the crab. Well, Curse of Doom will still hit pretty hard, so I'm just gonna do that and then switch out. All right, now looks like he's in the spiny whatever, so let's just go straight into Polonius to deal with this guy. Uh oh, I got Rip going. Time to put up my shell shield. He's got dive. Okay, mechanical storm actually hits pretty hard. Hmm, might as well just use it this turn since I'm gonna miss him. Miss! Ooh, wow, that did like no damage. Neat! Now I'm just gonna tell slap him until he dies, maybe. He knows. Tail slap number one. And all he can do is spam rip, so that means for one more turn, he literally can't do any damage to me. That's pretty nice. There he goes, refreshing his spiny stuff. Oh, my other two pets have a really bad matchup against him. Hmm, I guess I can go into Fel Emily. I just need to switch out long enough for his shell armor to to refresh. Or until the Fen Crab just dies, because I have a really bad matchup against him. So just throwing out a Fel Immolate might be enough for shell armor to come off cooldown. I could probably just switch back right now, not even like waste time going back into this guy. Oh wow. He's actually going down pretty... Oh, he left. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did he leave? He had a good chance of actually beating this team. Alright, as long as he doesn't start off with the Magical Crawdad. I should be good to go. So, let's start off with Necrodots. Cool, cool. Oops, I'm turned around. We'll start off straight with Curse of Doom. 
into a fell immolate and then an agony and then I'll switch into lofty library and then throw up his 50% extra damage bullshit this doesn't stun does it fuck it does it totally does which means I have to switch out like right now because if I switch into lofty library I'm just gonna get hit <gasps> unless it Ooh, you know what I think this follows my necro dots which is fine okay he switched out with the curse of doom now this is a perfect opportunity to test whether or not stun steeds follows me and if increasing my damage actually still increases the damage on the back row pets so he's gonna go into wish right here fuck it doesn't follow Ugh. Ah. Oh well. Let's go into Polonius. He took all that damage. He's gonna get a really nice heal from Wish. Ah. That's annoying. Um, I'm gonna assume he's just going to. He's faster than me. No reason to really put up shell armor. Let's just go into this crap. Alright, now I'm faster than him, which means I can throw up my shell armor now. He's got photosynthesis. Let's change the weather. I don't want you to heal up that much. My books in the back where I want to do their dot damage. You're not letting me do it with your stupid stuns that go off exactly when I'm supposed to switch out. Boom! Haha, ha. no solar beam for you! Or double heals. Alright, now let's go into Tail Slap and just spam this shit until, it, until Polonius dies. Because he has a nice type advantage against half his team. Is he gonna throw out Sunlight first or Stun Seeds? Probably Sunlight, that way this guy holds up in the back row. Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna keep spamming tail slap. Looks like this guy switching out a lot and is trying to heal. And Polonius doesn't like that. Uh oh, it's the magical crawdad. I still have three more turns. <laughs> My call lightning. <laughs> so this isn't working out very well. Oh! He didn't go straight into Wish like I thought he would. I'm pretty sure he's just going to go into Wish and then switch out, but I don't think that'll work if I'm spamming Tail Slap on him. There goes Wish. Nice. Glad he waited a turn. Now I can use Call Lightning. It's not going to heal up as much. Let's change the weather. <gasps> Crap. Did he predict that? <laughs> I think he did. <laughs> he predicted when I was going to change the weather on him. You sly dog! I thought for sure he was just going to stay in on his Magical Crawdad because that's that's a risky move to throw in Venus right there. If I had just chosen Tail Slap, he would be dead. But since I didn't, he's alive. Now he's just healing up while I'm dishing out a lot of damage, but not enough considering Magical Crawdad counters my other two pets. I'd rather not deal with him. Why is he switching so much? Is he just going to go for a Fist of the Forest to try to take out Polonius? That's a pretty good, pretty good option. Uh-oh, there goes Photosynthesis. He's probably going to switch out again. So just keep spamming Tail Slap. Oh, if I had Deep Bite right now, that'd be stacked up so high. Considering Deep Bite takes like fucking four of them to stack up. <laughs> oh, nice crit. <laughs> <laughs> Your healing shenanigans end here. No more super healing for you. Now we've got Venus. And I've got Tail Slap. Oh, you finally throw out your stun seeds. That's not going to be enough for you, because Polonius is just going to keep slapping you with his tail <laughs> while you just keep trying to heal. I think he might give up right here. Because my only problem was really Magical Crawdad. My Lofty Librams don't really have a problem with his other two pets. 
Alright, so I'm gonna get stunned this turn, so I should probably just go into shell armor so I don't take any dot damage while I'm stunned. I probably should have just went for tail slap. He can probably kill me with the fist of the forest. So maybe I should just switch out. Let Necro Dots take the Fist of the Forest. Because magic type racial actually works out not half bad against this crap. Okay, so I'll put up a Curse of Doom, because I know this guy can heal up a lot. That looks like I'm faster than him. And Agony. It's gonna do some nice damage when Lofty Glyburn comes out. Oh shit. <laughs> Why would you pig lash on a slow ass pet? <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for Necro Dot to die. There, now you've got so many dots you don't know what to do with yourself. And then I got myself a free switch into Lofty Libram. It's just gonna use Amplify Magic to boost the damage of all those dots by 50%. So now you should die this turn. Maybe. I don't know, let's see. Agony did 500, and that did 100, and I could really just hit him right now. I kind of really wanted Curse of Doom to go off and kill him. Because I like those big numbers that it does when you have Amplify Magic up. Ooh, maybe I should. Is there any other abilities that increase your damage by a crap ton? I don't know, I should look into that. Alright, so my biggest problem is going to be the decoy. Hmm, even then it's not really that big of a deal. Other than the fact that he has two tier 1 pets and a really hard hitter, which completely negates the slow damage of dots, because you want to kill him faster before he can kill you. I don't know, interesting matchup. Let's see how this works out. First, Curse of Doom, Fell Immolation, and then Agony, and then I'll switch into Lofty Libram. I don't really think I'll be changing anything. Fell Immolation, and then Agony. Oh wow, this dude hits hard. There goes Agony. Wow, he got all three dots. Nice. Luckily he went for a heal right there. Alright, Lofty Libram it is. That heal is only really good if I was doing AoE damage. Looks like he went into his Ghostly Bite. Now I'm going to see if Amplified Magic actually works on back row stuff. Amplify magic, 900, 100, <laughs> yup, it, it does. <laughs> that was great. Alright, he's faster than me, so I'm just going to spam Shadow Shock until I get rid of his decoy, in which case I'll throw up my Curse of Doom on him. Alright, one more Shadow Shock. Man, the Gusting Grimoire and Lofty Libram thing does a lot of damage. Alright, Curse of Doom, and then I'm switching out because he has a type advantage against me. Let's go, Hydraline! <laughs> Hydraline! Alright, Shell Armor, and then Call Lightning, and then Tail Slap until he switches into Servant of Demidas. Call Lightning for a little bit of extra damage to that Curse of Doom when it goes off. I mean, if it's just a tiny bit, like 30 damage. It's not half bad since it basically hits as hard as a tail slap anyway. An AoE, not quite enough to kill Lofty Libram, but close enough. One more Thunderbolt by him it is going to be enough to kill it. Okay, we'll go into one more tail slap. And in two turns, I should be able to kill his little dude. Crap, I have a type disadvantage against Servant of Demidas. So, let's see, how fast is he? 260. Both of my pets are faster than him. Hmm, I can go into the Gustling Grimoire. And, ah, oh, fuck, I got destroyed by that Soul Rush. Lofty Libram then, <laughs> free switch. <laughs> uh, I think I might be better off just using a fucking Shadow Shock. Or just Amplify Magic. That way Hydraline has a chance of killing him. Now I'm gonna go into Curse of Doom. He's gonna go for a heal anyway, I guess. Let's go, Hydraline, we can do this! Shell armor, shell armor it up. 
and go into a call lightning because tail slab actually doesn't hit hard against this dude. All right, now tail slap. He might. I just want to kill him before he's able to use siphon anima again, or soul rush or anything that's gonna kill me. I think I'm gonna die here. For sure. Considering his mechanical dragon link can just throw out a decoy and just destroy Polonius. Oh well, it was a close match. As soon as he decides to switch into his Pandir and Dragoline, of course. Which will be any day now. Come on, mechanical Pandir and Dragoline, come in and finish off Polonius. There we go. Unless he's a dick and puts up decoy first. Oh, yep. Looks like he's salty. I gave him a hard time. The kid just went straight for the kill. Whatever. It was a close match.